What I want you to do is I want you to think, turn your brains on, and ask yourself, would the Spirit of God make a man prophesy falsely? We need to test the spirits to see if they be of God. I'm going to play for you a series of prophecies made by Benny Hinn, and I simply want you to ask two questions. And we're going to ask these questions based on the Word of God. Open up your King James Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. We're going to find out the difference between a true prophet and a false prophet based on the Word of God. Here we go, verse 20. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, nor that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if thou say in thine heart, How shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. But the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. The Bible test of a false prophet, the Bible test of a true prophet is what they say when they prophesy. Number one, do they claim to speak in the name of the Lord? Number two, does what they say come to pass? So I'm going to play for you a series of prophecies made by Benny Hinn and you just simply ask, number one, does he claim to speak in the name of the Lord? And number two, did the prophecy come to pass? This first prophecy was made New Year's Eve, 1989, by Benny Hinn. The Spirit tells me Fidel Castro will die in the morning. Oh my. Some will try to kill him and they will not succeed. But there will come a change in his physical health and he will not stay in power. And Cuba will be visited of God. Okay, check your scorecards. He said Fidel Castro would die in the 90s. At the time of this recording, it's 2006. Fidel Castro is alive and well in Cuba. And this prophecy clearly has failed. Here's another one. The Lord also tells me to tell you in the mid-90s, about 94, 95, no later than that. God will destroy the homosexual community of America. But he will not destroy it with what many minds have thought him to be. He will destroy it with fire. And many will turn and be saved, and many will rebel and be destroyed. It certainly must have been a Burger King moment uh, that night as he's serving up all these Whoppers, but clearly uh, this prophecy didn't come to pass. Uh, as of 2006, neither has the homosexuals been destroyed, but in fact they've been rewarded. Homosexuals, since he made this prophecy, have been elevated to positions of power in various different religious denominations, and the movie Brokeback Mountain became somewhat of a success depicting gay cowboys. Clearly this prophecy is false. But I want you to understand he is saying it is the Lord who's telling him these things. He's saying it's the Spirit of the Lord that's telling him these things. 